In this tutorial, I'll basically be making a cross um, that just flashes on and off. So um, in this case, I'll just create the chain, uh, just rename it uh, here, and uh, old number four down. So here we go. So same as always, uh, it's here, but we actually want the effect to start here maybe. Um, but we don't have to worry about that because we can remember from uh, the previous tutorial that um, we've already got the problem with the pitch that we can't use a chord effect to reach a whole thing here. We need to use a MIDI effect rack. So what we can do basically is um, put in the MIDI effect rack and then say, uh, rename this to bottom left and then we put the pitch in minus three um, because we're starting from here. So it's gonna um, just shift it down three. Then we're going to put a chord in and we already remember 5, 10 and 15 from last tutorial and that's going to draw this up and then put another chord in. Oh no! Uh -uh. So we can duplicate that, um, control D and then uh, top right. I was about to do the same mistake again. So from here, let's do 32 and then go from there. Um, too tight for maths. It's to a.m. in the morning. Um, so, okay, now we've got this, and now basically all we need to do is have the um, second row. But this one's easier, because, I mean, if we start from here, then the code can reach here. So that's not gonna be gonna be a problem. So um, let's basically make the last one. And here's something kind of useful. Uh, you can either turn these off like this, so we don't see them anymore, or you can just solo this one. Uh, so that kind of just turns these two off. Um, so just to show you, uh, turn the bottom left off, turn the top right off, or just solo this one, so only this one plays and turns everything else off automatically. And let's just call, um, let's say top to top right to bottom left. Um, whoa. Uh, whoopsie. Okay, so here basically what we need is a pitch, obviously, and then uh, we can do 32 and that will send it here, so it needs to go down a bit. Let's just see. Okay, so that's 25. So that just sent the value from here to up here, and now we need to draw this. So you can put a chord in, and it's probably going to be minus 3, I'm guessing. Yes. So from here, you think minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So then the next one's going to be minus 6 and minus 9. And there you go, you've got the diagonal part here. And then all you need to do is get another chord. And you're going to want to bump that up. So I'll just do it like this. Um, this is the easiest way of just doing it. Uh, so here we've got this other one. And now we've got this drawn, so we can unsolo it. And we've got this, so a nice little cross. And we can minimize this and put an arpeggiator at the end of it. Um, so obviously, if we have the arpeggiator going up, that's going to be... Um, oh, actually, if we put it like this, then it's going to do this, which is kind of weird. It's basically taking the whole cross and then just going up in note. And you can see already how weird it is because it's divided by half. It's not going to do this. It's going to go up like this. So this is, um, say, 1, this is 5, this is 15, this is 16, and then this one's going to be... Uh, sorry, this is 15, then this is going to be 18. No, this is going to be 19, and then it's going to be 22, and whatever. So it's going to kind of do this weird uh, thing like this, uh, where I can show it also faster, like this. So that's kind of weird and not what we wanted. We want it to just flash. Um, so we need to put it before. So um, we've got a flashing note. Um, whoops. We've got a flashing note that's way too fast. Um, still too fast. Let's do 200. Okay, so we've got a flashing note, and then we want that note to be duplicated as a chord. So then we can turn on the chord. Um, so it's always the same thing, the arpeggiator versus chord, um, uh, which order to put them in. So now we've got a cross that just um, lights up like this. So there we have that. Um, and yeah, if there were any questions about this tutorial, um, let me know below. If you have any requests of a particular effect that you want me to make, um, also let me know. Uh, just in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.